Hi, I'm Marek Molarczyk and welcome to this video about slow motion in Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, just let me show you what we're going to work on here. An example, so we got in here, is this example where the video just starts playing in a normal motion and then it slows down, smoothly moves. Then it will speed up again in just a second. Okay. And I will slow down again in just a moment. Here we go. This is really nice, smooth, slow motion. Something that's actually really easy to achieve here inside of a Premiere Pro. So first back here, I'm just going to close this sequence here. And I've got this video here already. I've actually used a, a section of this video. Just extract it a little bit this video in here. I'm just going to make a new sequence from this video. Uh, let me just zoom in a little bit on the timeline here. Maybe a little bit more, make this timeline a bit wider so we can see better. There we go. Okay, and let's make uh, let's make our video layer here taller so we can see it better. Make this shorter. Here we go. And once we load the video into our timeline, it's going to load into program monitor as well. So as we play it, we can view it here. It just plays a normal speed right now. But here's what we can do. If you want to create slow motion for the entire video or this entire clip in here, what you could do is you could right click on the video in the timeline here, go to speed duration, and we could reduce the speed. So let's say if we take a third, like 30%, and we'll click OK. Just move it back here. Just play it. It's now really slow. Don't worry about the quality too much because this hasn't been rendered yet. You've got this yellow line on the top of the timeline in here, but it just gives you a nice slow motion. Now, because we reduce the speed of the video, it's also going to be much longer. So, where this video was 20 seconds, now it's one minute and nine seconds, but that's okay. So I'm just moving back here. Actually, I'm going to keep it here and I'm going to add it again at the end. So if I just scroll to the end, here we go. After a minute, we'll drop it again, put it somewhere here. So I have a space. Let me just zoom out a little bit with the minus on the keyboard. So on this video, let's say I want this video to speed up, slow down. So initially we just wanted to play as normal up to a certain point, up to when they hit the floor. So say about here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add some keyframes and change the speed of the movement of the clip between the keyframes. So at this point in here, now this is the keyframe icon which you're going to see once you make your layer taller. That's what we did. Also, you won't, this won't be active unless you have the video clip selected, which I did right now. But it's one more trick in here, because if I do a keyframe now, this won't be a keyframe for the actual speed, for the actual slow motion. There's one more thing we need to do here. We need to right click on this video clip and then I'll go all the way down to show clip keyframes, time remapping and then speed. And this needs to be ticked, which changes the view of the clip in here. And now I'll put a keyframe in here. Okay, there's the keyframe, looks a bit different. Now let's see when we want it to speed up again. So just move the playhead. We can use our JKLs as well. Just play it. Maybe at this point it can speed up. So another keyframe here. And just make it play faster from here. And then maybe slow down again here. So if I just zoom in now on these sections here, now on this first section, this will just play as normal, at normal speed, but here I want it to slow down. So in this section, we can reduce the speed of the animation here, of this video clip. So we can just take it down to make it slow down and take longer at the same time, of course. What you can also do is, as you play in it, you can change the speed at the same time. So I can just Hit the space button, play it, and make it even slower. 
Okay, I'll let it run to the next point. And this will, oh, this will actually play at the normals. Or maybe we can make it a bit faster. Just a little bit, like 10, 15% faster. And we'll make this slow down again. Say about 30% or so. <clears throat> okay, let's zoom out. I will only use the backslash to fit the entire timeline within the timeline panel, but because we've got two clips, I won't be using this time. So I'm going to slow down and speed up and slow down again. And what you can also do in here is, if we just zoom in on this section here, we have this slow motion start. At this section here at the beginning. You get these two lines in here, and now when you move the cursor over, you get this arrow, your cursor changes. What you can do is you can split this, and make the change gradual because right now it just goes from normal to really slow but we can just split that so, so i'm going to drag it to the right hand side so split it and you can see how the speed changes and in the program monitor you can see that now this transition will take one well five milliseconds it's maybe a bit longer say from 0 0.8 to 18 or 17 something like that so it doesn't change rapidly, so just start slowing down. And you can also use this icon in here to make a transition smoother so it doesn't happen in a linear fashion. It's almost like applying easing. So I can click and drag to the right to make it more gradual. Maybe something like that. So just zoom out a little bit. You can see how the change is going to take effect slowly. Bear in mind that what you see right now is not the full render, render version here. <coughs> so what you may want to do is, if you set the in and out points, so if I go back to the beginning here and actually use the up arrow key to go to the beginning of the clip and press I, and I'm going to use the end as an out point, maybe something a bit shorter, if I just zoom out, and go past here and an O for out point and then you can go to sequence and render in to out to render just this section here so you don't have to render the entire video and just give it a moment depending on how many frames you have it may take maybe half a minute or may take even a couple of minutes I've only got well I've got about 700 frames in here but this shouldn't take too long so we get a, and this yellow line will change to green when it's been rendered and it gives you a better preview. Here you go. So it's green now, and now it's smooth. Let me just go to Program Monitor. Probably made it too slow, but it gives you an idea how slow it is, nice and smooth. That's our sequence. That's our in and out points. And now when I hit the floor, they'll speed up in just a moment. They go back to normal motion, and then it would slow down again. So that's basically a couple of ways you can create this slow motion effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Oh, one more thing to bear in mind is when we right click on the timeline on the clip and went down to show clip keyframes, we'll have to go to time remapping. This is one of the newer features. In the past, it will be straight in here, the speed. So bear in mind. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. I'm Marek Mulacic from saitraining.co.uk and hopefully we'll see you again. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye for now.